everybody. Welcome to day number four of the AI Agent Challenge, doing 30 days of AI agents or AI automated workflows to help entrepreneurs save more time and make more money. On today's episode of the challenge, we're going to be going through and sourcing content from TikTok and repurposing that for Facebook. And the purpose of this is TikTok is an amazing resource for the latest and greatest news and information out there. And if you can source that information from TikTok and repurpose it into your own voice and then share it into another platform, it's going to help you gain authority and trust in that field. So with that being said, let's get into it, shall we? We're going to go right over to make.com here. I'm going to come in on the left side here. And you can see that we have this folder opened up, the AI Agent 30 Day Challenge. And here's the last three days of things that we have built. And we're gonna create a new scenario inside of this folder. And we're gonna start off by creating a new scenario here by clicking this button. And we're gonna rename this scenario because it's one of the first things that we wanna do so that we can keep things nice and organized. We're gonna name it TikTok Repurpose to Facebook Post and enter and we're going to open up this email module and we hit watch emails go through and select my email here I'm going to create go in the folder inbox criteria so we're going to look for we'll do all mail right now subject line we're going to have it look for only things titled TikTok. so when you send yourself the TikTok, you know what's happening i already have a TikTok i sent to myself so we're gonna hit select from the first one. There, hit okay, and run once. And what do you know? There it is. And we can see some of the information we're getting from the output. We know the TikTok title subject is called TikTok. We can see that there's also a TikTok link right here as well. So now that that works, we're gonna take the next step. Now what we're gonna to wanna to do is be able to take that TikTok link and then turn it into a JSON format to be able to feed it into the next step of the process. We can have ChatGPT do that for us by opening up a chat completion here. Going down to the model, we'll pick oh, Turbo this time, and we'll add in a system prompt. I'm gonna say extract the URL out of this content and respond with a JSON. Now you're gonna to wanna to tell it, don't include the word JSON. Sometimes it likes to tell you that's what it is and if you're gonna feed it into a system, it messes it up and so you just want, you just want the JSON formatted itself. The content is this, and we're going to go down to text content right there, and we're going to show it what it looks like, and we're going to call it URL and value. Close that bracket up. Nice, beautiful JSON format. And we're going to get, give it a token count of, I don't know, 500. There we go. And let's go ahead and choose to run this again. We'll choose where to start. Select from the email, we'll grab the TikTok, and we'll hit run once. Take a look at that, and let's just see how it was formatted. Okay, the results, yep, that's a JSON URL, comes across the video. All right, yeah, that's the JSON format. Now we're gonna wanna be able to turn that into a variable so that whenever we send in a new TikTok link, we can take that variable and run it through a system Well, that will take the TikTok, transcribe it, and then be able to repurpose it into our own uses, which is gonna be a Facebook post. So we're gonna use something called parse the JSON here. So we're gonna use the parse the JSON module here. And it says choose the data structure. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go here to choices, messages, and content. I'm gonna feed that in here. And we're gonna probably wanna rename these things. And so let's just go a little bit of renaming. Rename this to extract URL. We'll have this be convert into JSON. And we're gonna do a little auto aligning, smooth that out a bit. So now that we have that URL in a JSON format, we're gonna to wanna to be able to download that video so that we can take it and be able to have it be transcribed by chat should be again with a whisper model. And the way that we're gonna be doing that, we're gonna be going to a, a resource, which I think is a really powerful resource 
that if you can integrate this into your workflows, it's it's an amazing use. It's called rapidapi.com. So this is a hub of different APIs and endpoints that you can plug into with your make.com system. So if you're using agents, this is a, a great resource. And the one in particular that we're gonna be doing is we wanna use this, this is a TikTok downloader with no watermark. And so this is the one that we're gonna be using. And what we're gonna wanna do over here is we're gonna first make an HTTP request. So we're gonna click this. Click HTTP, make a request. And we're gonna to wanna to feed it that URL that we got from over here. So we go inside of here, and the URL that we're looking for is right over here. You can see it says HTTP, TikTok video, uh, watermark 10. And we're gonna grab this right here, and we can see that we're gonna go over to make, and we're gonna go here, and we're gonna hit paste. So we have that in there. And we're gonna go into the headers right here, and we're gonna type in X rapid API key. And we're gonna go over here and we wanna grab this link right here, which is the API key. Copy that, open up the scenario, hit paste. And we're, we're gonna to wanna to make another header and call it X dash rapid API dash host. Back into here, and we're gonna grab this URL for the host. Paste that in there and hit okay. We can save this scenario right now. And one of the things that we're gonna, and one more thing is we're gonna add in one more header. I'm gonna say this is the URL. And we're gonna take, ooh, it hasn't been processed yet. Uh, so we'll, let's do this a little bit. We're gonna detach this link hit save, save anyways, we get the warning, and we are going to choose where to start, select the first email, and we're gonna run this across. The reason why we're gonna run this across is it actually will have the variable now be available for us to use over here. So let's hit run, run anyways. Great. So we got that, we're gonna reconnect it now. If we go here at the bottom, we have this URL link. Great, so we insert that URL inside of there. So now we have the TikTok link coming in here, turn it into a JSON format. We're now putting that into a variable so we can be able to use that as a variable and we're feeding that in as an HTTP request. So now that we have that variable inserted to this HTTP request, what we're gonna be doing here is we're gonna run this module again so that we can kick this through and be able to access the variables inside of here so that we can send this across to be able to get downloaded, transcribed, and then repurposed. So we're gonna choose where to start. Select the email, first email again, go down here. Select this one, hit okay. And we are gonna run this again. All right, and let's see what we got on the backside. Okay, status code 200, that means success. And uh, we can take a look at it and see what we've got inside of here. Okay, we've got a lot of different data points inside of here. These are the bundles that are coming out of information. And we can see all of the, okay, yep. We got all the stuff that we need here. Perfect. So we're gonna make this HTTP module here. So we're gonna open this up and what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go and we're gonna go into the data of the rapid API from the HTTP request here. And we're gonna open up this data here. I'm gonna go into here. I wanna go to music info and we're gonna click play. All right, so we're gonna get the musical info, AKA the audio of it. By type, we're gonna click raw, and then we're gonna request the header values here, and we want to parse this. And so we're gonna hit okay. And so we're gonna run this one more time to see the data that we're gonna get here. I'm gonna say choose where to start. Select the first email. And we're gonna hit run. Great, let's take a look at that. Code 200 means success. We can go down here, see the data that we're getting. Nice, some solid binary there. And so this is the audio file. So the next step we're gonna do is we're gonna wanna be able to take that file, that the audio file that we've downloaded from TikTok, and we're gonna wanna transcribe that using ChatGPT. But before we do that, let's go ahead and rename this. We'll say this uh, audio TikTok file. 
click OK. And we're going to add a module here. We're going to open up the Whisper. And we're going to want to select this one, Create a Transcription, which is going to turn audio into text. Click that. We're going to click the key right here. And we're going to want to give it a file name when it's coming through. I found a useful one to use is this timestamp variable. This timestamp variable allows you to just mark it as what's the time right now. We're going to call that .mp4. And the file data coming through, and we want to make sure that we use the close that time out there. Uh, so here we go. We see that this is the audio TikTok file, not to be confused with the rapid git file because they're confusing because they look the same colors. That's why we renamed them here at the top. We're going to click data. All right, there's the data. Scroll down, JSON format, everything else looks good. Click OK. And we are going to then choose where to start. I'm going to run this one more time. Well, probably more times than just this, but to test this next module, we're going to run this one. Get this up, over, and across. Great. Output, we have text. Use this to get 10 times more of the chat, GBT. <laughs> Sometimes when I speak, I say GPT, and it sounds like GBT. So, OK. So we got that. So now we've been able to take TikToks, bring it all the way across here. Now we're going to have ChatGPT rewrite this into a Facebook post. So we're going to use ChatGPT completion. I'm going to go create a completion model. Yes, that's good. We're going to go ChatGPT. I don't know. Let's use 40 Turbo. Give that a thousand credits. And we're going to add a message inside of here. System. We'll type in generate a Facebook post based on this text. And we're going to put in the text from here. Targeting business owners that want to leverage AI and automation in their business. Let's give it a couple of rules, some rules. Use emojis. Use English even if the transcript is not in English, just in case. Sound inspiring and motivational. Let's make sure this is a little lead magnet thing for us with a call to action. Be sure to include this call to action at the end if you want to leverage AI and automation in your business be sure to take the free automation assessments at Dylan J Watkins.com forward slash quiz. All right. All right. Okay, so that should fill out. We have that text coming across. That all looks good. We're gonna hit OK. And we are going to run this one more time to make sure that this is doing all the things it should be doing. Okay, we're gonna hit run. Run this across. JSON format, whispers taking that, it's transcribing that, and now it's rewriting it in our own style. Now you could include other things like, hey, here's some background, here's my personality, here's my personality types, or whatever, if you want to custom create that. And another one, I'll show you how to use the uh, API sys on the back end of ChatGPT to make a, a GPT version, but using code. Okay, results, choices, collections, content. Okay, yep. And we got our quiz here at the bottom. Fantastic. All right, let's kick this into a spreadsheet and then get notified that this has happened. So we're, we're going to go ahead and we're going to create a, a sheet, Google Sheets, and we're going to want to add a row. It's going to ask me where to ch start. I made a AI agent challenge here, and we're going to select a spreadsheet I made called TikTok repurpose right there. 
and you can see that right here on TikTok repurpose, all I have is URL link, Facebook post, right there. Sheet name, sheet one, because that's what it's called. And then these are the spots where we can place in any of the variables that we have come across. So let's just say we want to grab the original URL link. And so we'll put that URL link right there. And we want the Facebook post to be the latest one we just did. Right, skyrocket business. All right, yes. You can see the little output it has over here on the side. We'll click OK. Let's rename this. Let's do a little auto alignment. And we're going to rename this as rewriting into Facebook post. All right, hit save. Now we have this inside of here, and so we should be able to tell once we run this, it should populate across, choose where to start, select from the spots. Here, hit OK, hit run once. I'm gonna run that across. And now what we can do is that we can actually check to see that it actually got populated inside of the TikTok repurposing spreadsheet as soon as this is done processing by ChatGPT. Okay, let's go inside of here. Nice. There we go. All right. Yep, next credit identity, engagement, perfect. Yes. And just so you can see here that this is based on this prompt I'm pulling from here which is one of my more popular videos where I talk about the ultimate prompt and I break down the different steps to making that happen. So it's amazing that it could take a multi-stepped prompt framework from TikTok and then turn that into a post. It's very helpful. Now that we have that, all we need to do is send some sort of notification. Now, you could do this through Twilio, but Twilio is a little complex to set up. You have to apply for a campaign, get approvals, all this jazz. So. Simply put, let's just send this back as an email, alerting us that we have gotten a new completion. And we'll mark that as send an email. We'll go from here to me, subject, subject line. We'll add a recipient. We'll just send this back to myself directly, Dylan at DylanJWatkins.com. Subject line, TikTok repurposed into Facebook post is ready right here. And then it can be plain text. We don't need anything wild going on here. And we can simply say, here is the link to the spreadsheet with your post. You can do that. Go here, grab this, copy this link. Copy that link, hit done, and let's just delete this. Row right here, go back in here, and put a little link. Let's, let's add that down there, make it a little bit easier. And so now what we can do is uh, send the video through, and it should come through on the other side. Right here, choose where to start, select the first video with the first link here click ok hit run all right it's now running across grabbing the information transcribing that taking that turning that into a facebook post then dumping both the url link of the original tiktok and the facebook post inside of this google sheets now you could automatically post this to facebook if you wanted but i already showed you how to do that with linkedin and with Twitter. So I want to show you another way where you can take some reviews. Some people are a little shy about just letting AI run your social media. So we got the thing here. It says success. Let's check it. Oh, here's the repurpose to Facebook. There's the, the link. We click on that. Let's open it up. Boom. All right. There we go. So uh, that is how you can grab any TikTok post, repurpose it, and then send it over to any really spreadsheets or anywhere else you want to do it. You can always send it to have a Twitter version, a TikTok version, a Instagram version, a Facebook person by just making routers be able to populate to different categories. And maybe we'll do that in the next video where I'll show you how to take this and have it rewrite it specifically for Instagram, LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook, all that jazz. So it's really easy for you to copy and paste that. Thank you so much. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next day of the challenge. Take care. Bye.